troops back down here before the Draugr invade. And our scout was hurt. Which obviously is not good. Draugr invasion taken care of, but we are unhappy. They want to expand, they want a new area, something of that sort. So we contact the Jotnar. Let's go ahead and get ourselves this new territory. We'll take out the wolves here. Right, we're unhappy because of the number of wounded we have. And let's go ahead and get our scout back. Scout, come on back and heal. You also be a healer. We need to take care of happiness. Pronto. Happiness will, um, basically being unhappy decreases your production. Uh, each character who's unhappy, it decreases their production by 20%, which is not good. It's one of those things that keeps, just kind of keeps building on itself. You get unhappy, you lose the ability to produce resources, which makes you more unhappy, which it's just a never ending cycle. So you kind of gotta nip it in the bud a little bit. So, one thing that will help is expanding our territory. I know we can't grow because we're unhappy. So we're going to take care of that by colonizing right here. We're also going to get some stone from that. Which we need. And what we'll do with that. Alright, there we go. Fane, we're going to increase our fisherman's and our farmer man's abilities. So that means that we can take our villager, put you there. And that'll increase our food production. And we've got another space on the farm that we can use here as well. So the reason we go for fish is because fish, uh, it's winter, it's going to be winter soon, and f our fish fish uh, do not get affected by winter. Uh, the, the deduction of production in winter. Which makes it very handy, especially as we head into uh, the month of November. Let's go ahead and get some lore going. We want carpentry mastery to reduce the uh, reduce cost of the cost of upgrading. And then we need you, Mr. Healer. You need to become the builder and come over here because we need to improve our happiness again. So that's what our brewers are going to be for. So he's going to build our Hall of Scalds, which is basically our upgraded version of the brewery. And will give us some, uh, it'll give us fame. It'll also give us, uh, it's better not to risk it. I was thinking about going for a feast, but generally what you try and do is you try and time your feasts for when you are when you have a lot of population room to grow and when your villagers are able to focus on producing the resources that they are uh, actually working towards. And the reason for that is you want to make the most of the bonus production that you get. Alright. So we're healing the miner. The miner is our last injured person. Uh, that's not good. That's really not good, actually. We're actually going to retreat our miner out. Bring our soldiers in. And then let's get you to be a scald, and that will increase our happiness. Nice job. Mr. Miner, come on back. And so we can start growing again. Let's go ahead and upgrade our food silo. That'll increase our production, our food production once again. Always good. So basically, you can see plus 20% food production. Um, we just get increased production now that these buildings are upgraded. And then our bonus at 500 fame is that upgraded buildings gain an additional 10% bonus in production. So lots of production bonus. All in all, it's gonna be very, this is gonna be a very productive, uh, for us. All right. How much? Okay, we're almost done with our stone extraction there. Let's actually get you. Hmm. I 
need you to come down here and build a house. Actually. So we're trying to spread the houses out a little bit amongst all the territories. Our troops, which honestly we could do with upgrading our... Hmm. Our wood production is low. So this is going to require 200 food to colonize, which we actually have. So let's go ahead and do this. We'll put our put our soldiers right here on the edge, and then once winter is done, which will be soon, come in here, they'll take out the wolves, we'll colonize this area, and we'll build ourselves another wood cutting hut. And it's a good thing we got our soldiers here. Because we've got a wolf that came in. There you go. Alright, you're without a job. So let's get you to come in here and just be a regular villager for the moment. Alright. And there we go. So again, waiting until winter is done so that we have don't have the uh, debuff on our soldiers. Let's go ahead and colonize. And then our villager that's right here, we will use you to build a watchtower. Right there. Right. You guys get back. Healer is on full healing duty. Plenty to do. Let's get you, Mr. Villager, to be another Scald. And then the next lore item that we're going to go for actually is... Uh, it's actually the value of great deeds. So Scalds will produce gold. Let's see that right away. And then let's get this bonus of stone and gold. Or stone and iron to do some upgrading. But we're actually the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna buy a war chief. War chief will be our main source, or be our obviously our war leader. Okay. Chief is a very powerful unit. And the next thing we'll build is the woodcutter switch. So basically these two villagers that are coming out here are going to be our woodcutters. Our second set of woodcutters. Uh, interesting little fact about woodcutters. They have an increased attack. So they have six attack power over your normal five attack power units. Uh, villagers, so they are a good and easy way. Oh, come on. So that's why you put a uh, watchtowers in. Uh, so woodcutters are actually a decent militia force, if you will. Woodcutting, woodcutting. So we've got a forest here. Forest will increase wood production by twenty percent. And look at that. No problems with wood. Let's go ahead and organize a feast. We've got the time. It's relatively peaceful. And that will help us with some of the things that we're trying to achieve. Uh, Mr. Villager, once the feast is over, we're going to build a trading post. Alright, rats. We need to build silos. Our silos will predict 600 foot food right now. Here we got plenty of food. Uh, let's go ahead and have you, the healer, collect food. A moment. We've made contact with Vidar, leader of the Raven Clan. So, Raven Clan can send mercenaries onto your shore areas, your, co your coastal areas, if they have beach front in these areas. So we actually might avoid colonizing those areas until, until as late as possible, just so that we avoid the ability of being raided from behind. It's never good. All right. The feast is over, so let's get you in here, and we're going to wait. We're going to hold off on the upgrade until after we get a war chief, uh, which actually, screw it. We're going to do another, do another feast. So as you can see, I haven't done a whole lot of scouting lately, and uh, there's a good reason for that. Really, other than scouting maybe this area down here and what's going on there, 
I'm I'm pretty content as to far as far as where we're how we're doing on that. Uh, we are second in wisdom and third in trade. So overall, we're not doing too great as far as getting towards the victory conditions, but I find that getting a stable base is the most important thing that you can do when you're on hard. Uh, let's go ahead and get ourselves a war chief. So a uh, little hotkey tip for you. Uh, e is the button to select all of your uh, all of your military units. Go ahead and get a trade route going. We can get a trade route going with the Yotnar. So you can actually trade food with the giants, and if you... Oh, that's not good. I knew it. I knew eventually that we'd need to... We need to do something about this, this area. Alright. Alright, do we have any healers? We do not. So let's get a couple healers in there. I know it reduces our food production, but we're actually just going to go ahead and get right into this area. Take out these wolves. And colonize it. The reason I do that is because I want to be able to... Uh, well, we're basically just going to build a... Uh, next thing we're going to do is build a watchtower right here. This will kind of be our southern fortification, if you will, for the moment. All right, we're unhappy. That's not good. We want better houses. We have too many wounded. And, all right, there's an easy way to take care of this, and that is upgrading the Hall of Skull. That's going to have to wait until we've got enough gold. We're running low on food, actually. Let's get you over here for gold. Let's get you in here for food. This food route is actually going to have to change to a wood route. There we go. That's the reason why I really need food. Alright. Lore time. We are going for... Mm, eradication. That'll help with our happiness a little bit. That upgrade will have help even more. Take you off of that and put you onto happiness. Another woodcutter's lodge. So once we've built that second woodcutter's lodge, we'll actually destroy this woodcutter's lodge, and we'll just use the uh, bonus production. Actually, we can. Uh, that's for the uh, Mr. Villager. Get there, get there. We upgrade our hunting lodge. All right. Military units can back off. Come back to the front lines. And this area actually is pretty valuable with these lore units. Alright. Woodcutter, you are going to be a woodcutter as well. You are a villager, but I need you to come down here and build quarry. Alright, Woodcutter's Lodge is gone, and what we're actually going to build here is another food silo. Uh, the reason we do this is because uh, your villagers automatically spawn out of your town hall. And let's build another house right here too. So, they automatically come out of the town hall, which means that they just default to collecting food. We're actually going to get rid of our scout camp as well. Um, since they default to collecting food, you may as well put a building in here that's going to increase the food production that they that they give you. That is the uh, general thinking behind it. The other thing is that one of the next things we're going to go for is medicine. Uh, increases your healer's healing speed, which is always good. Healers will gather food when they're not healing. So that means that once they're... Oh, that's okay. There we go. Watchtower coming in handy. So faster healing, and they uh, 
They also collect food, which means you don't have to keep assigning and unassigning them, which is very, very handy. And let's go ahead and build a mine here as well. Uh, our villagers want better houses. We need a little bit more gold before we can get better houses. And actually, we're going to use that to upgrade our food side. Trading route, trading post as well. You find that iron. Okay. So I, we're we're pretty steady. So we're not good on necessarily on our victory conditions. We are closest on wisdom, which this would be a great place for us to get for wisdom. But it might be a little bit of an overextension. So we're actually going to focus on getting this area right here. All right, there we go. Our upgraded buildings have a 10% increased production bonus. Thanks being Jarl. So you can see that our food silo, it actually doesn't say here on the tooltip, but we do get an increased production, so our, so that's a good little bonus for us. Uh, somebody has no job. Let's go ahead and get you mining that iron. We want that iron so we can upgrade our, all the tools for our units. In particular, our woodcutter's lodge. Our woodcutters need upgrades to their buildings, into their tools. Um, thanks for watching Additional Pylons Games. Click one of the boxes to watch another video, and click the circle to subscribe and join the APG Zealots. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and share it with your friends. Comment below, and I'll see you next time here on Additional Pylons Games.